Hey guys, we got a 2020 Dodge Ram 2500 here. I'm gonna run through this thing as quickly as I can. I always, I prep my felt a certain way, but there's no need to be trying to show you all that because everybody has their own idea on that. What I will tell you that holds true, no matter what anybody tells you, Chrysler products windows are soft. Don't use a razor blade, don't matter if it's stainless steel or if it is a carbon blade, just avoid using them. You can prep the windows with a hard scraper like this. It's made out of a really hard nylon. And the beauty of this tool is, compared to a razor blade, I can tuck it all the way up behind the seal. You can't do that with a razor blade. Of course, unless you're trying to take off window tint, then that's a different story and you scrape at your own risk. These logos that are fired on here in a ceramic coating or whatever it is, it may be some kind of, I don't really know what the inert property. It turns loose when a razor blade hits it. It then in turn gets up under your razor blade and scratches the glass. Ask me how I know. Okay, we've got this done here. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze you along the bottom edge of this glass. This will be a bottom loading video. This is the Blue Frog. Looks just like the Platinum Easy Reach, the Gold Easy Reach. It's a lot slicker. It works better. It's more durable. But if anybody tells you that any tent too will not scratch, they're telling you a lie. The only thing I've never scratched a window with is a rubber turbo smoothie, black smoothie. Uh, but this is so simple. Keep you some 400 grit sandpaper in your pouch, in your pocket. I don't use a pouch because pouches beat up tools. They get dirty inside a pouch, so you don't want a dirty pouch with dirty tools in it because dirty tools get dirty nicks and leave dirty scratches, bottom line. Sand this baby. Okay. Here's the thing on squeegeeing. I like to put my squeegee at a certain angle. I'm gonna pull this down here on this edge, pull this down. That way anything's collected up right there is gone. If you turn your squeegee up like this right here, the water trail is gonna follow the squeegee up. It's gonna lay over on top of the window. You can put a piece of film up there and if you like to shave, you shove it over. Then that puddle is gonna drag grit down inside your film. So we don't wanna do that. So I take this thing and turn it at an angle just like this. So when I'm squeegeeing, it pulls all the water down to this edge and drips it off. I'll then take this, wipe this. I don't roll that window back up because there's no need. I'm gonna flush this quarter inch that's down here, a half inch, whatever it is. Just make your strokes straight down every pass. Wipe your blade on a rag every pass. This ensures that you don't take contamination that you've puddled up down here at the bottom and reinsert it on the glass up there. Then, I take this, I don't go real fast, I go real easy, I wet up behind the seal, and I flush behind the seal. Then I come across the bottom and I flush. Contamination is not your friend, I promise you. And uh, not something else you'll see in this video, I don't shrink these windows. I use a great squeegee, I use a great film that has a great adhesive, and I do what I call the cheating the fingers technique, which is something I'm gonna show you. Now. When you know you've got your mixed solution, mix right when you spray the glass. Now, I'm not gonna spray right up here so it flushes stuff down and catches it. When you spray your glass, like I'm doing here, and the soap clings, your mixture's right. I got a video showing you how to do that. This is a bottom load. I do have the seal pulled out. This takes just less than a minute to pull that seal out. I always drop the short side, the side that's not the longest end first. I drop the, the back end, I put it on the glass. Then as you see, there's a gap here. I slide it up in there so I don't have to worry about picking up any kind of debris. Now I'm gonna go to the other side because the dodge is bad to have a gap over here if you don't get it just right. But, as fate would have it, we got it just right. 
This is the Sledgehammer Plus. This squeegee combined with a great film and a great adhesive allows you to do a lot of stuff that you can't do just a normal film. Now my first pass, I'm dragging this backwards and I'm pushing the water all the way over to right here. You notice I don't try to cram it up in there because you cram it, it creates pressure. Anything that's there, it flushes it out. So I bring it up to here, let gravity pull the, uh, the moisture down. All right, I'm gonna push this one forward. Now, when you're doing a cheat in the fingers, as I call it, install, so you don't have to worry about bubbles or anything, fingers. I always tack this thing up, do a hard tack in the center straight up. And you guys notice I'm not adding any more water to the outside of this film. This blade glides like butter across it. Then I do the top half. Then I go back over here to this side. Now, again, I just sanded this tool so we don't have to worry about it scratching when you sand it and keep your tools up. A dirty tool or a hard tool that's thrown in your pouch and you tote it around, it bumps against stuff and you can cause nicks in the tools. Same thing with your blades. I never leave my blades in a pouch, in the pack in the pouch. I leave them on my card or on my table because I don't want to have to worry about the blades rattling around and making those things bump against each other and dull them out. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm not finished none of this down through here because we're fine where we're at. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my torch. I'm gonna warm up the top edge of this glass so I can shave it. Because the beauty of bottom loading is you can drop that film deeper in there. You can have more room to uh, load your film. You can ease it down without worrying about stressing or putting fingers in it while you're shaving the top edge. And that heat doesn't dry the film completely. It just tacks it up a little bit, enough to keep the film from moving while we're shaving. Now, I usually shave in two directions. Right here at this point, the pattern fits so good, it don't have to be shaved, but it's high here, high on the front. And we'll start back here at the back. I like to go right to left. That's got that. Now down here, I'm gonna go left to right. The blades I'm using are NT cutter, red tops. That is done, there's no edge to grab. I've got my blue frog here. Pushing this down. And look, it's amazing, it's not scratching. It's all in tool care, folks. You take care of your tools and don't let them get dirty, you do all right. Anything other than a clean tool is just a dirty tool, and I don't recommend them. We're up, we're all the way. You see all these fingers here? Now, a lot of folks would look at it and say, I'm gonna squeeze this down, squeeze this down. You create fingers here in the corner. Now, I'm gonna show you how I do this. It's what I call cheating the fingers. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and ease this right here down, just ever so slightly. So the film is tucked up in there, right here. Now what you'll do, you see all these fingers in here. When I say cheat the fingers, this is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna push the film this direction. You see this finger flatten out, watch really close right here. Watch it flatten out. When it flattens out, I make a hard pass straight down. I rock my squeegee, semi-circle, to the direction that I'm pushing the film. Once I get it there, then I clear the slip out of the corner, not before. Same thing over here. You see those fingers? I'm gonna cheat them out of their limelight. Push it like this, see how it flattens them out? Semi-circle, arc, whatever you wanna call it. I'm old school. 
I was born in 67, so some of the words I use may not be groovy to you guys. But this shit hard right here. You evacuate the water from the corners like that. This window is almost done. I'm going to mist a little water on it. Now I'm going to do where I got the name for the sledgehammer. I'm going to hammer this moisture out. I'm going to follow this ridge, go right around just like this, and I'm bearing down hard as I can go. This will be the last pass you have to make on this window. And you will not have to explain to your customer what all those little bubbles are when they're drying. In this pass, I'm bringing it straight down at an angle so it catches any moisture and it rocks it, it rides it down. You don't want to do it like this because you do this, it, it actually creates a vacuum that you can't see and will pull moisture and grit out from up in there. Squeegee technique is detrimental. We'll call them back. Now I'm gonna ease this thing down. I'm gonna make my last pass across the top. What's something you guys are noticing? I didn't add any more water. You see how this blade glides? Here's the thing. This blade right here, I guarantee this and the dehydra to be the two best blades on the market, bar none. If they don't do what I say they do, if you send them back to me within 10 days, I will give you 100% of your money back and I will also pay the freight. Nobody else makes that claim. Now this window's done. It has a shaved edge. Look. I'm not even going to go around and look before I take this around and show it to you guys. I'm just going to walk right on around here and show you. There is zero trash in this window, and this has loads of felt. You see the felt up here? All the way around. The window's dirty where we hadn't cleaned the truck, but the install is spot I think the film now. goes down here. Maybe you can see it. we got pretty good lights in this building. Here's your rubber seal. We're a half inch below the seal. That gives you an install that you can rest at night. No one you put in there that's not going to peel on these folks. Anyway, guys, Ace Window Tinting, Gasket Pro Tools, the Film Benders Guild. My name is Rodney McClure, 35 years in the business, and I'm here to help anybody that wants it. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.